Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. JF-17 may not be a technology marvel but due to its low cost it has cracked deal with few countries with low economic budget. One of them is Myanmar Air Force. In 2015, Myanmar became the first country to import JF-17 Block 2 Thunder Fighter. It is currently operating 7 JF-17 and 9 more are on orders. While Myanmar cannot directly purchase the fighter jet from China due to the imposed ban, they choose to go via Pakistan. However, most of the fighters have been grounded by Myanmar facing various issues related to its operation and maintenance. Though Pakistan Air Force has brought over 100 JF-17 Block 1s and Block 2s into active service due to shortage of spare parts, approximately 40 aircraft are not airworthy. Nigeria has also procured three JF-17 fighter jets which is experiencing various maintenance issues leading to higher overall maintenance cost. The engine used in JF-17 is Russian RD-93 engine which is a cheap variant of RD-33 which itself is declared useless. This engine is also notorious of generating thick black smoke which can be spotted from miles away. A large number of engines have been reportedly experiencing cracks in guide vanes, exhaust nozzles and flame stabilizers. Pakistan has raised serious concerns with China about the repeated failure and high unreliability of the engines. China is facing problems in the supply of these engines from Russia. Even Myanmar Air Force is facing technical issues with the engine which has further worsened with US sanction on Russia. The engine is also infamous for its poor serviceability. The most critical part of any aircraft after engine is radar and mission computer. The GF-17 integrates KLJ-7 radar and weapon mission management computer WMMC and both of them have reported problems. As per the Greek magazine Penta Poster Gamma, malfunction of WMMC has caused launch zones of BVR air to missile to shrink during the combat exercise. Due to its unreliability, PAC is looking to indigenize the main computer module. In the air defense role, JF-17 indigenous Link-17 data link is not only unreliable but it does not have sufficient data transfer rate and can never be integrated with F-16 fighters Link-16 to give aircraft true interoperability capability. The Thunder does not have even an effective BVR or airborne interceptor radar. The KLJ-7 radar consistently exhibits below grade performance and has been plagued by several operational issues since the beginning of JF-17 project. Despite China's Nanjing Research Institute of Electronics Technology recommending retrofitting, the radar continues to experience a high failure rate. Issues have also been reported on the airframe of JF-17 because of poor metallurgy. Four JF-17 of Myanmar have developed cracks in ventral stabilizers. The other problems of JF-17 are low landing, gear, shimmies while taxiing and a number of aircraft experience nose wheel vibration. The low cost JF-17 is now becoming bigger liability for Air Force operating it. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.